Let us now discuss few recommendations that are to be considered for the enterprises. They are as mentioned below. Reinvest the cost saved by using cloud into security controls of the provider and audit to ensure the security and compliance requirements are met. As part of due diligence, service providers have to be provided with clear information of the security procedures or the governance structure currently in place at the consumer end. Likewise, the provider's governance processes should be assessed for consistency with user security management processes. This helps in designing risk mechanisms best suitable for the organization. Collaborative governance structure between customer and providers must be mandatory as part of the service risk management protocol. Security departments should be involved during the implementation of SLAs and signing of agreements to ensure all security requirements are enforceable under the contract. Metrics and standards for security management have to be in place before migrating to cloud environments. Enterprises should understand their current metrics and document how it will change after migrating to cloud. In cloud, the consumer does not have any physical control over the infrastructure. The control of infrastructure management rests with the cloud provider and risk management here is done through SLAs, contractual agreements, and documentation between consumer and cloud provider. Due to aspects such as multi-tenancy and on-demand provisioning in cloud, only limited services are allowed to be performed by the customer. For example, audit processes are modified by the providers to restrict the availability of audit logs and active monitoring to the customers. It is better if the customers have read through the policies. If the customer's internal processes demand complete transparency, then the customers are left to choose different ways of assessment or choose a different service provider suitable for the enterprise and its policies. A risk management plan is an essential part of corporate governance. A risk management approach has to be designed after the identification and valuation of assets, threats or vulnerability and its impact on assets, and the scenarios where risk management is needed. Outcome of the risk management plan should be incorporated in their service agreement to ensure safety. Let us continue with recommendations in the next slide as well.